I'm trapped on a train traveling at 100 miles an hour from London to Scotland. And I can't get off until I give away this 500 pound ticket. We're looking for a Liverpool or a Chelsea fan to get off the train and go back to London to go to the game. <laughs> we kept asking people and it was becoming clear how difficult this challenge was going to be. I don't know they should let me get away. <laughs> yeah. I would go, don't get me wrong. There's absolutely no chance anyone's going to get off this train. We need to come up with some solutions fast. But in the next carriage, there was a glimmer of hope. Are you football fans? Who do you support? Liverpool. Liverpool. Would you get off this train to go to Liverpool, Chelsea today? I mean, it's not really my decision, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, we're all on a train to Newcastle or Edinburgh, no, so no one's going to do it. Only one ticket. <laughs> only one ticket. Are you, right you're out of the run. Uh, After 30 minutes of failure, we were already 54 miles from London. So I made a sign to spread the word faster. Any Chelsea fans? No. Oh, yes, Am I going to get beat up? <laughs> Free ticket today? No, you're not. Uh, Free ticket. There's no Chelsea fans in the world. In the world, they're on this train. On this train. Yeah. Both same thing. This is my world. We just need to make sure we don't miss that first stop. If we if we don't get off at York, we're all the way to where? Basically Newcastle. Yeah, that's our day goal. We might actually miss the game. But then someone approached me out of the blue. I mean, I think like my boyfriend. Is he on the train? No, no, no. He's in that train. That's the catch. It wasn't looking good, so I got desperate and made a bold request to one of the staff. Do you think we have any chance of getting over the tannoy, or is that like a no-go? No. No. But the big man clearly underestimated my riz. Oh, wow. You're not going to say any swear words. I promise you, on my life. Well, I read it down so we know what well, we're saying. People are going to think that we're wanting, that we're wanting uh, to come up. I know, but we need to, we need, they need we're to know how to find us. Carriage seat. If I talk in that, we'll go. No, just, you have to hold the button in. Wait, this one? Yeah, to talk into it. Talk into that bit. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Very special occasion. We have a free £500 ticket to Stamford Bridge to watch Chelsea versus Liverpool today. If you want the ticket and you're on this train, you're going to have to turn around and come back to London. Come and find us in Carriage Sea. Have a wonderful journey. Thank you. Is that okay? Did they all hear that? Oh, wow! <laughs> That's mad! <laughs> And as we headed back to our seats, word was spreading around the train fast. Did you hear that? <laughs> Did you hear it over the thing? Yeah, it's it's unreal. We need to get back to carriage C. Look at me looking at these tickets. Did you hear us? Yeah? Brilliant. I'm surprised they're not queuing up. <laughs> I kind of expected to come back here and for everyone to want the ticket. <laughs> and despite the Tannoy announcement, we missed our first stop at York, meaning we'd be stuck on the train for another 35 minutes. But just a few minutes later, a familiar face approached us. Have you found somebody yet or not? Not just yet. Oh, because I think uh, we're considering it. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, yeah. You're thinking about it? Yeah, yeah. Okay, talk to me. Okay, well, uh, I'm a massive Liverpool, Liverpool fan, so yeah. Uh, yeah, I love to do this. I think. Unbelievable, and it's you and your dad, is it? Yeah. And you are going up to Edinburgh uh, and yeah, Glasgow? Yeah, to Edinburgh, yeah. But he's thinking, come back down. I'd have to come back up the next day on yeah. Edinburgh. Is it fine like, if I check the ticket or something? Yeah, yeah, 100%. So that's that one. I can also show you my YouTube channel to show you that we're, like, yeah, legit. I your, yeah, yeah, I yeah. yeah. But, yeah, he's just thinking. Yeah, sure, I'll do it. You'll do it? Yeah, I'll do it. We'll find our guy. It's his birthday in two days. Two days? Yeah. And this is a good time to give him his birthday present. Oh. You give him a birthday present? Okay. Wow, this birthday is present. perfect timing. It, it could be a good time. This is working out perfect. I think I know what that is. <laughs> oh. Oh, is that oh the new season? God, that's amazing. He's got, he has to wear it. He has to wear, he has to wear it. <laughs> and this gave me a crazy idea to make Henry's 17th birthday special. So Henry's sorting his bags out with his dad and I have a plan, right? It's his birthday and we're gonna throw him the best birthday party ever. So we're gonna get him hats, balloons, a cake, candles. We're gonna get everyone to sing for him. I'll have to get him a card. For this plan to work, we'd need to complete three tasks. First, we'd need to buy birthday party supplies without Henry realizing. Then distract Henry at half time while we prepare his surprise birthday. But before we get off the train to head back to London, I had one more thing to do. Hello everybody, I would just like to let you know we found a lucky taker of the Chelsea Liverpool ticket. If you want to see the journey, subscribe to John Nellis. We said goodbye to Henry's dad, got off the train and turned around to make our way back to London. And Henry revealed to me that his favorite YouTubers are Fiago and Thogden. So I made a few texts and soon had a few gifts to send them. Hello Henry, happy birthday mate. Hope you're having a great day. Enjoy the match and take care. Oh my 
my god. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> There's a couple of them there. <laughs> Another one. What is up, Henry? Hope you enjoy my content. I appreciate it. Happy birthday, mate. Hope you enjoy that game at Stanford Bridge today. And hope you get a proper birthday present with an away win for the Reds. Cheers. That's so good. Oh my god. Thiago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's amazing. It's as well you didn't say Mr. Beast. <laughs> Go and follow those guys. And after another few hours, we arrived back into London and made our way towards Stamford Bridge, where Jacob made an excuse to disappear and grab some supplies for Henry's surprise party. Back at the bridge, Henry cheered on Liverpool's team boss as they were booed out of the ground, before we all headed in to take Henry undercover into the Chelsea end. And as Henry watched his heroes warm up right in front of him, I was buzzing that the four Liverpool players on my so rare team were all starting. Alisson, Trent, Van Dijk and Mo Salah are all playing in this game for my so rare team. And if your team ranks high on the leaderboards, you can win once in a lifetime footballing experiences like playing with Zidane, flying with the Milan team or playing at Anfield. If you sign up using the link below, you'll get a free card and help support me making big videos like these. With the game underway, I wanted to find out if Henry had any birthday plans. Are you going out for your birthday? Are you going out for dinner? A party? Maybe, I don't think so, no. But little did he know, he was going to have a party. Inside the first 30 minutes, Liverpool gave their undercover fan a couple of early birthday presents. So disappointing. Yeah. You travel all this way. Absolutely, so saddening. God, I'm so angry. But VAR quite literally came to spoil the party. No way. Yeah! And unfortunately for Henry, Chelsea soon equalised through Axel de Sassi, who celebrated right in front of him. Yeah! Come on, Chelsea! But it went from bad to worse for Henry, when Chilwell decided he wanted to celebrate in front of him too. But thankfully, VAR went in Liverpool's favour this time. The sound of the referee's whistle marked both the end of the first half and the start of Henry's surprise party planning. As Henry headed inside to be distracted, I asked everyone around us to help blow up balloons, while Henry got interviewed to buy us time to get everything ready. I usually watch these type of videos and I just hoped it was me someday. With the balloons being sorted, I got out the cake, which wouldn't be complete without some candles. We've got the balloons, we've got the banner, we've got the cake. All we need now is the birthday boy. And just seconds later, Henry started heading back to his seat, ready for his big surprise. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, dear Henry! Happy birthday to you! We passed cake around to the other fans, but the biggest slice had to go to the birthday boy. Click on this video to see me surprise another stranger. 